Hello there my fellow Holotable Heroes and welcome to another Conquest Counter video guide. Now you'll be able to find this and all my other Conquest uh, video guides on my Swagger for Life website. If you haven't seen it yet, go and check it out, the link in the description below. On there you can find everything you need to conquer the Conquest from my daily plan that you can follow along whenever a Conquest uh, is live. I also got recommended data disc sets on there, feeds guide and enemies guide where not only you can see these counter videos I'm creating, but also estimate the speed of the enemy in each sector and over-prepared level that they usually have. Now in this video we're going up against Bad Batch. Uh, now there are two different versions of Bad Batch you can face, so this one is not over-prepared. However, you can also sometimes come across uh, Bad Batch that is over-prepared. That one obviously will be faster, more durable, hitting harder, but unfortunately over the past 3-4 conquests I kept trying to come across here in Sector 4 or 5 an over-prepared Bad Batch team and I just didn't get them uh, to record versus them. So some of these battles that I'll be showing you may not work as well or may not work at all versus over-prepared Bad Batch, but at least you can see kind of the mechanics of the team, uh, how they work. So I just wanted to highlight highlight this that this is very important um, to always check is your bad batch enemy node over prepared or not uh, so in this one obviously i'm running my gone in 30 seconds data this set slightly modified version so obviously uh, it will rely on volatile accelerator and two amplify agony data discs to do all the damage then i'm using ruthless swiftness to give us lots of bonus turn meter whenever enemy falls below 100 percent health then using unstable decelerator just to offset the turn meter gain to the enemy that volatile accelerator would give them out and finally unfortunately this latest run of conquest i didn't get vitality data disc to choose from rng wasn't kind to me so i did uh, have a quick ability exhaust which is kind of nice you can get some ability blocks at some point going uh, but usually by the time by that time uh, more often than not the battle is uh, under control already but anyway just starting off as always these videos with a cls team Han and Chewie plus any three characters can do a lot of damage with this data this set. Han shoots first, you knock out their echo and this is pretty much game over because as soon as they lose echo you know they can't daze you, they can't do all, the, all their shenanigans with debuffs and stuns. There we go, down goes tech as well for a quick and easy win uh, with CLS. The next team uh, is going to be very similar utilizing best commando lead, Han and Chewie and any two scoundrels really or any two characters, they don't really need to be scoundrels. Uh, so best Carmando's lead, uh, you get extra bonus turn meter on top of the bonus turn meter you're getting from Ruthless Swiftness. Um, so, you know, you can very quickly take these guys out. Just, you know, point at Echo really and then uh, just hit autoplay. You can't really go wrong with this team. Moving, moving up, we got Jedi. He's kind of a my foolproof Jedi team, uh, which isn't always foolproof, but hey, look at this. Even a bad batch team that's not over prepared, uh, they went first. Uh, so they get their place going. Obviously, we do have here a savior that will trigger at some point. Uh, oh, Revan actually did get a turn. Perfect. Let's go ahead and swap now with uh, Luke. And as soon as you get a turn for Luke, you know, it's game over for them. You get your stuns going, which triggers all the Amplify Agony, Volatile Accelerate to Data Discs. And now you can just, uh, you know, do a couple of AoEs here and there and just hit auto play and you're pretty good to go at this point for the win now if somebody does die that's why i've got julian there for the revive uh, moving on grievous as well with his droids and newt uh, is a great team as well they'll get their opening place going now let's see what will happen obviously we got days there uh, on uh, b2 so you can't get bonus turn meter <laughs> So eventually we will get a turn eventually there we go luckily they were busy uh, uh, going after b1 there we go, and now we can get our AoEs going, there we go, another there, because they got Grievous below 100% health, he cleansed off the days from himself, so then he can get his uh, bonus turn meter going, but you can definitely see, this match is uh, not probably the best one, uh, maybe that would be an overprepared bad batch team, maybe it wouldn't work at all. Uh, so next uh, we've got uh, John Grievous here with uh, 5 of first clones, again, not outrunning these guys, uh, you can imagine how fast an overprepared bad batch team would be, Eventually we get a turn, uh, we can cleanse everything off uh, and then we can get our place going, get a, getting some AoEs there from Echo, gotta get Wrecker out first and then you can just hit auto play at this point. But again, if this would be an overprepared bad batch team, would my regs get a turn fast enough to cleanse everything off? We don't know, right? Uh, moving up, uh, we got Maul, this would also work versus overprepared bad batch team because it doesn't matter how fast they are, right? 
uh, more gets a turn because uh, we put here a uh, tech on somebody and as soon as that happens you can just hit auto play because you get so much bonus turn meter from ruthless swiftness data days that you know doesn't matter how fast the enemy is they won't be able to outrun your guys so more even if that would be an over prepared bad batch team would still work absolutely great here with the help of what another team uh, ray so again this versus non over prepared batch the bad batch team yeah versus over prepared i'm not so sure uh, but just still showing the teams that i make uh, that can work versus non over prepared so at least then you can make a decision do you want to use this team or not whenever you up against Bad Batch? So obviously had to go after Wrecker, he had a pre-taunt. There we go. Uh, and IG there cleans, cleansed off all the debuffs there as well. That helped us also from droids. There we go. I'll just go after Echo. He's the main problem here. Um, once we got him out, I think this is pretty much now in hand. Uh, we even got some ability blocks now on them because of ability exhaust data disk. Um, Hunter will die from damage over times anyway, then so I just kind of let him be and first start working on the other guys. So there we go. Ray works. Versus over prepared. Uh, probably wouldn't try it, but versus standard bad batch team is okay. Moving up, we've got Padme. Padme potentially could work versus over prepared as well, because obviously as soon as they get a turn um, there. Obviously, it's a bit of an energy fest as well, to be honest. Uh, you know, who tech will stun, but hopefully eventually Anakin gets a turn, Padme gets a turn. And then you can turn things around with Padme's cleanse. And as soon as that happens, you know, you should be in good shape here to take these guys out. Okay, lots of stacking, uh, lots of stacks there of courage. You know, I can just hit auto play at this point. And you are good to go with Padme as well. All right. But again, Padme, depending on stuns, right? May work, may not work. Dark Raven's gonna work, right? Am I right? <laughs> the tricky thing here is obviously uh, Echo's um, healing immunity can't resist. So your Malak. When he's getting pounded, maybe this would be an overprepared bad batch team. Things would be different. Uh, but versus an overprepared bad batch team, this can work. There we go. Obviously, Mala getting his bonus turns. Finally, hopefully, shaking off that uh, healing immunity. Perfect. And as soon as Darth Raven gets a turn, you know, it's game over. All these debuffs, fear, Pasty goes out, more debuffs, Wild Lightning. Then HK follows up with his AoE, more debuffs. And there we go. So you just have to survive with Bad Batch here, really, this opening plays. And if you do, then you can turn the tables ar around. Okay, Treya here with uh, Sif Tramrad bringing obviously their um, talent for some extra self ability because, oh boy, you're gonna need it. As you can see, these guys are running circles around you before you get a turn. Uh, Nile is there. Finally got a turn, cleansing off the debuffs because of Treya's unique. Then Sun gets a turn, dispelling all the buffs. And now we can go to town really on these guys because you know now we're starting doing damage on them anytime anybody falls, falls below 100 health we get so much bonus turn meter so definitely without ruthless swiftness data disk this maybe could have been trickier uh but using you know this for turn meter gain even slow trea team can kind of turn things around and then take over the battle and defeat these guys quite easily probably would also work versus over prepared um you know i think it would still work well another team that probably works well versus over prepared bad batch is aiden she gains 100 percent turn meter at the beginning of the battle so you can just take somebody out and in combination with ruthless swiftness data disk you'll gain so much bonus turn meter and there you go that you know they wouldn't be able to uh, really do a whole lot even if they would be over prepared then you get a couple of aoe's out and you know it's pretty much game over at this point just hit auto play and they will just die from damage over times or will actually take them out by brute force uh, death trooper there took care of them uh, quite easily so we got now a couple of galactic legend battles lord vader as always with his uh, data disc going in 30 seconds is absolutely amazing uh, you just do an aoe i mean you can just pr pr probably hit auto one aoe another aoe and that batch is down for the count so and moving on, uh, we've got Jedi, actually Jedi Master Luke, but I'm running him under Jedi Bastila just to illustrate you because Bastila's lead gives 15% turn meter, uh, which is more than 40 speed that Jedi Master Luke uh, lead would give you because you don't want Bad Batch to start here. Uh, you want your Lu uh, Jedi Master Luke to start with E-Flux, apply debuffs, push back turn meter, give yourself turn meter. So if you are using Luke versus these guys, 
definitely recommend running under Basti lead because that 15% bonus turn meter will give you a lot more than 40 speed from a Lux lead. And there you go guys, that's all the battles uh, I really wanted to show you today. Different teams here that you can use versus Bad Batch. Again, I, I mentioned some of the teams versus overprepared Bad Batch might not be as good uh, as I've shown here because these guys, these enemies here were not overprepared. Again, just a friendly reminder. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one. But until then, have fun, enjoy your life and may the RNG be with you my friends.